For centuries, education has followed a familiar path. Classrooms, textbooks, and exams shaping generation after generation. But learning isn't the same for everyone. For some, stepping into a classroom feels natural. For others, it's overwhelming. So here's the million dollar question. What if we could change all that? What if we could use technology to help every single student, no matter where they're starting from? Imagine a world in which every student gets their chance to shine, where struggling students find their footing, where high achievers go even further. Welcome to the future of learning. Hey Tutor, I have a business strategy class tomorrow about generative AI's impact on businesses. And honestly, I feel a bit overwhelmed. You know me prepared? Of course. Your topic readiness score is currently at zero and we'll work together to improve it. Let's start with an interesting question. Why do you think Google and OpenAI are locked in such an intense competition over AI development? Hmm, because AI is the future of tech and the global innovation market. Good start. I'll give you a topic readiness score of one. Now, think about this. Google has been developing AI for decades, but OpenAI's ChatGPT took the world by storm in just months. Why do you think that happened? Maybe because ChatGPT was more user-friendly, made AI accessible to Ariel, while Google was still in the research groups. Exactly. That's a classic example of the innovator's dilemma and cannibalization dilemma. Even companies with cutting edge technology can struggle if they don't make it accessible and useful to everyday users. So your topic readiness score is now three. Imagine having an AI tutor in your pocket available day or night, adapting to your every need. Study anytime, anywhere, at your own pace. No judgment, no pressure. Your AI tutor not only teaches, but it crafts a learning journey that synchronizes perfectly with your classes. Hey tutor, today's class on Gen AI's impact was such an eye opener, but I want to make sure I really got everything. Can we do a quick review? Absolutely. Your topic readiness score is zero. Let's build it up. Let's start with the enterprise software market. How do you think Gen AI is reshaping competition there? Mm, well, we learned that companies like Microsoft are integrating AI into their products. So other software companies have to adapt quickly or risk falling behind. Good start. Your topic readiness score is now two. Now, let's compare Salesforce's Einstein GPT and Microsoft's Copilot. What differences do you see in their AI strategies for enterprise customers? Oh, I remember this one. Salesforce built its own AI platform. Microsoft, on the other hand, leveraged its open AI partnership. Both are enhancing existing products instead of creating entirely new ones. Excellent insight. Your topic readiness score is now four. You're understanding how companies evolve their Preparing for job interviews can be daunting. What questions will they ask? How should you present yourself? Are your answers strong enough? But what if you had a tool that would not only predict interview questions, but also analyze your body language in real time? A tool that would watch how you sit, notices if you fidget, and trains you to present your best self. Imagine walking into your dream job interview, fully prepared and confident, because you've already practiced with an AI that thinks like an interviewer and coaches like a mentor. Hey, Tudor. 
I have an interview for a business analytics role at a retail company. Can you help me prepare? Of course. Your interview readiness score is currently at zero. Let's work together to improve that. Let's start with a real world scenario. Our e-commerce site's average order value has increased by 25% over the past quarter, but profit margins have decreased. What data would you analyze first? And how would you structure your investigation to identify the root cause? Hmm. I'd maybe start by analyzing product level pro profitability. Maybe customers are purchasing more discounted items or shipping costs have increased. That's a good approach. But remember, in an interview, body language plays a huge role in making a good first impression. Try sitting up straight and making eye contact. It will help project confidence. Your interview readiness score is currently at one. You could also consider factors like changes in customer acquisition costs and shifts in product mix. Let's move on. You need to forecast demand for a new product line, but we have limited historical data. What alternative data sources would you consider? I'd look at similar product launches, market trends, competitor data, and maybe even social media sentiment to gauge demand. Much better. Your interview readiness score is now three. That was a more confident response. You could also incorporate pre-order data and industry benchmarks to refine your model. Now, let's tackle a statistical question. We're seeing different customer satisfaction scores across our mobile app, website, and retail stores. How would you determine if these differences are statistically meaningful? I conduct a NOVA test. Introducing your very own personal learning assistant by the SB Jane Group. The future of learning is here. Are you ready?